Here in the valley, we have something to prove. We've been doubted. We've been underestimated. Yeah! Let's go! We've risen to the challenge, and we believe we will be champions. We are the Coyotes. Calabasas, in the hidden hills just 15 miles from Los Angeles, is a place associated with wealth, fame, and celebrity. But lately, the town is creating a new identity. This is Calabasas football. I think I could fairly say that nobody really heard of Calabasas a couple years ago in terms of high school football. Up to 2014, these guys were like nine and 91. They've had multiple zero and 10 seasons, a couple one and nine seasons, lower than the doormat. I mean, irrelevant. It's been real, real bad over Calabasas when it comes to football. Anytime you get an NFL name, coaching high school sports, it, it's, it creates a buzz right off the bat. Oh man, the reception for Chris Claiborne was huge. He changed the town. My name is Chris Claiborne. I played eight years in the NFL, four in Detroit, two in Minnesota, one in St. Louis, and one with the Giants. A USC Hall of Famer, and I'm now the head coach of Calabasas High School. This is a Division II team in 2018, but they have scheduled three non-league games with Division I programs, and that's a big deal in Southern California. Chris Claiborne is here to take this program to the Division I level. Chris Claiborne isn't the only coach with NFL pedigree on the staff. He's joined by eight-year NFL veteran cornerback Eric King. You see the E? You see the E? You see it? Eric King, defensive coordinator here at Calabasas Senior High School, and I'm fired up and I'm ready to go. The staff also includes 12-year legendary NFL receiver Curtis Conway. I got into coaching strictly to try to help kids fulfill their dreams on and off the field. I mean, I think that's my calling. This season, Calabasas has one of the most potent offenses in the nation. Power, size, and speed. Quarterback Jaden Casey's job, feed the three-headed monster. Johnny Wilson is one of the most coveted wide receivers in 2020. According to all the recruiting websites, he's long, he's athletic. He's kind of one of those uh, throw it up and get it type wide receivers. To see a guy that young at 6'5 be able to move the way he moves is, is amazing. He can do some things that most 6'5 guys can't do, and I'm talking about even in the pros. You know, football has brought Johnny Wilson to a place like Calabasas. It's a lot different from where he grew up. Growing up in Pacoima, certain things that worried me, you know, to keep Johnny away from was gangs and drugs and stuff like that. Having Johnny at 18 was not easy. I really wasn't, you know, uh, raised with a father. Been me, my grandma, my grandpa, my brother, and my mom for the most part. And I believe that he's going to reach that level of greatness. He's going to bring us all something that we've been looking for for years, pride. Michael Pittman, man, bulldog. I tell you what, man, the guy is super talented. I mean, run after the catch type of guy, can make plays. All we want to do is get him the ball. I don't care if it's one yard, no yards. You get him the ball, and he'll take it the distance. It's funny about Michael Pittman, because I remember playing against his dad when his dad played for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And I was thinking about how huge his dad was. So when I got to see Mike, I was like, man, that's definitely his son. When your pops played in the league, it's already pressure. Oh, his dad played in the league, so everybody just expects you to be good. Micah Pittman is one of the senior leaders of Calabasas. A little bit of a goofball, but I think it keeps the guys loose. 
I, I know like if I'm having a bad game, like Mike is the, the like the type of dude that's gonna change my whole play of that game. The light in the the locker room. You know, he's the leader, he's the senior. Like I'll be telling these freshman pups, like, you need to understand I'm I'm the pit bull, you're the little chihuahua right now. He's gotten all the personal stuff that you would want as a high school player, but he hasn't had that team success or that championship yet. So going into his senior year, this is his last chance to get that done. Kind of a late addition in the offseason for Calabasas was wide receiver Jermaine Burton, who came from IMG Academy, which is known for this football factory. It says a lot about Calabasas and what they've done over the recent years that Burton decides, hey, you know what? I'm going to go to Calabasas. As soon as I landed, like the plane was still rolling to the air, like it was still rolling. Johnny called me ASAP. He was like, did you land yet? He was like, man, you got so much stuff to show you. It's crazy, because like the first like two days he was out here, I connected with him on a level I didn't think I was going to. Was... Hey, these guys, Johnny and Jermaine, they have two years. So I have them this year and the following year. So if these two guys ain't two of the best receivers in the nation going into their senior year, I don't need to be coaching. When the game is done with you, right, because the game, is, I always tell the kids all the time, like, it's really not your choice when the game is over. You don't know when that's going to be. It, it is different being on the coach's side, because sometimes you want to jump in their body and, 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 and make a play for them, but you can't. You know, you got to teach it to them, and you got to let them fall on their face and, and pick themselves up and, and, and figure it out. <laughs> Cheers. Friday night, it's go time. Let's ball, have a good time, and again, we'll laugh after the game or during the game. You know, I like to crack jokes, but let's just let's have fun, man, and enjoy the season. Game one of the 2018 season. In their much anticipated opener, the Coyotes welcome the J. Sarah Lions, a division one powerhouse from the Trinity League. For Chris Claiborne to schedule J. Sarah for the home opener, that signifies to me what he's hoping to do this year. When you call out a J. Sarah Trinity League team, on home opener, debut coaching game, you know, you gotta kinda put up or shut up. The first big play of the game. Jaden Casey escapes the pocket and looks for Jermaine Burton. The IMG transfer is showing off his speed for Calabasas' first touchdown. The J. Sarah defense lives up to its billing, picking off Jaden Casey for a first quarter score. The J. Sarah talent overwhelms Calabasas. Special teams returns a punt for a touchdown. The Lion defense continues to dominate Calabasas, and a tough first half draws to a close with a second interception returned for a touchdown. Can't kill yourself, offense and defense. We play like in the first half. Horrible. Can't tackle, ain't lining up right, throwing interceptions. We in the game. Get the ball in half. We got to take it in the end zone. We got to score. One, two, three, family! Captain Micah Pittman provides a spark. He draws Calabasas closer with a pair of big plays. Johnny Wilson has been frustrated by double coverage all night. Jay Sarah isn't taking any chances with the five-star All-American. Jay Sarah's elite offensive line wears down the Coyote defense. When you turn a ball over twice, when you don't get off the field on fourth down, okay? All of these things, all of the penalties, this is the score you get. For a team with designs on something greater, a tough loss provides a valuable lesson. You gotta know where you are to know where you gotta go. So we got to know that early, so now we got a long way to go. Because at this point, it's all about becoming a better team. It's game one, 
We played a you know high level squad. We get to find out where we are in the next couple weeks.